And he, being Mickey Rourke, breaks all of the rules because in an interview with, um, uh, was it the Men's Journal he did when he was doing the rounds for the promotion, they just said to him, and fair play to that, whoever did it, they just went, take steroids, pal. Time of the of the board, asshole here. Welcome to Monday. It sounds like it's some kind of magical destination. It happens once a week, but it is Monday. It's the start of the week. Hope you had a good weekend and all that nonsense. This makes no sense if you find this video after the fact. I'm trying to cater for every single audience possible. Now, I was mucking around as you do over the weekend. I was doing a bit of this, doing a bit of that. And then I saw from afar on a website that Chris Hemsworth, you know Chris Hemsworth, get rid of that right now. Go away. Shoo, shoo. Chris Hemsworth, who obviously I think most people probably know from Thor. I mean, he's a very, very famous, very, very successful actor. Ages ago, signed on to be Hulk Hogan in the Hulk Hogan biopic that is actually being funded by Netflix, of all people, which will absolutely blow your mind. It kind of sent people into a bit of a frenzy when this was announced because everyone was like how is Chris Hemsworth going to play Hulk Hogan this doesn't make any sense and blah 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 anyway he did an interview with Total Film and this puts a little bit more perspective on it and given our interests allows us to have a little bit of a chat because again talking to Total Film Chris Hemsworth said uh, this movie is going to be a really fun project which makes perfect sense why would he take it on otherwise as you can imagine here we go the preparation for the role will be insanely physical I will have to put on more size than I ever have before, even more than I put on for Thor. There is the accent as well as the physicality and the attitude. I will also have to do a deep dive into the rabbit hole of the wrestling world, which I'm really looking forward to do. I'm going to be blonde, probably balding and with a tash. And then uh, on a previous interview, he talked about how he hasn't even seen the script yet. It's all in the process. Um, and he's fascinated by the world and he's pretty keen to, to show it off. And he's intrigued by the project, hence why he signed it off. Now, Here's a picture of Chris Hemsworth. Um, I presume maybe he would have been bigger for this at some point. I don't know in terms of when he's playing Thor. And here's a picture of Hulk Hogan during his pomp. Now, the issue <laughs> we have is, yes, look, Chris Hemsworth got in good shape to play Thor. There's no point in pretending otherwise, especially when you see what he walks around like. I'll try and find a picture and put it in there. He did put on a lot of a lot of mass and a lot of weight and so on and so forth now of course i know the the big debate is that allegedly use that word it's massively important is that if you're a hollywood actor you go on some kind of ped when these roles come up because hey, you need quick transformations as soon as you can now look maybe they do and maybe they don't my opinion on it has always been if you're not going to abuse them and you're going to have a, a, a doctor watching you 24 hours a day seven days a week and it's part of your job i could totally understand why an actor would do it you know again each to their own if you want to do it great if you don't want to do it great they terrify the crap out of me for loads of reasons we'll probably do a video about that at some point but we're never going to know for sure unless somebody completely breaks the actor's code and comes out and says it but with this there is a genetic level that everybody can get to right i think we can all understand that and I don't expect Chris Hemsworth has to get in the exact shape that Hulk Hogan was back in the day. But the thing with Hulk Hogan back in the day is that Hulk Hogan was taking PEDs. And I'm pretty sure I can say he was taking steroids. He admitted it on the Arsenio show, I believe. I'll try and find the clip and put it on here. So basically, I made the right decision. And that sports therapy involves hours of the ultrasound to get the blood going again, the electric stem to get the nerves going, the deep muscle massage, and prescription drugs by my p physician that I trusted, legal prescription drugs, and those involved basic an anti-inflammatories and a synthetic male hormone, which is a form of a steroid. But he went on a talk show and he looked right down the lens as I'm doing now and he admitted that he had taken steroids, performance enhancing drugs, whichever word you want to do. And I think he kind of downplayed it a little bit and said he only did it to, I mean, you'll see it, and I'll see it at the same time. I should have watched it before this video. I'm using my memory, not the smartest thing to do. But then he did it, you know, because he wanted to come back from an injury, or he needed it help here, needed it help there. But there was the big steroid scandal in World Wrestling Federation back in the early 90s. And if you go through and read all of that stuff, I mean, the truth of the matter was, probably 99.9% .9 of the WWE roster was taking steroids and was doing it with the knowledge of, you know, everybody up the power chain and again whatever they were doing what they were doing but again, sometimes you just have to look at people i mean hulk hogan is massive like he's not as lean as ripped as you kind of compared to people today because times have changed but he's still massive and he's like six foot seven 
He's a six foot seven, massive dude. Now, the I don't know how tall Chris Hemsworth is. The image of height can obviously be, 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 be manipulated in movies. Hence why Tom Cruise, who I think is around about five, six, five, seven. You never watch a Mission Impossible movie and go, oh, there's a really small dude. It doesn't even come into your head, right? Because it's absolutely irrelevant given the way that it's presented. But if you're doing a Hulk Hogan biopic and you need to get to the size of a dude who has come out and said, yes, I did all this stuff, I don't know how Chris Hemsworth is going to do it without going down that route. Again, maybe he will, maybe he will, won't, I don't know. But in terms of his training... I mean, he's going to have to, well, he's going to have to be eating thousands of calories, as you know. He's going to have to be doing progressive overload like a, a Mother Hubbard. We don't know when this movie is coming out. It doesn't have a release date. Again, it's a Netflix biopic, and I'm sure Netflix have, uh, you know, so many projects in the pipeline that it's not, they're not desperate to get it out there. It's not like a lot of Hollywood movies right now who need to get back into cinemas because they've, uh, you know, theaters have only just reopened. They can probably take this time. Maybe they're giving Chris Hemsworth. Well, they won't be, though. Or at least I don't think so. Because I was, was about to say was, maybe they're going to give Chris Hemsworth a good 18 months to get in that kind of shape. But that means Chris Hemsworth is not going to take on any other roles in that time. I don't believe that's going to happen. I mean, maybe it would. Maybe he's that dedicated to it. And I think he'll do a decent job. You know, ever since Heath Ledger was cast in The Joker as Batman, everyone was like, no, oh, death, death, blah, blah, blah. And it turned out that he was, you know, absolutely phenomenal. You can't judge these things until you see it happening. And he's clearly got somewhat of an interest in it because why else would he have done it? It's not like he needs the money. Again, he played Thor in Marvel. But I don't believe he's going to get any significant period of time to get in this uh, this kind of a shape. From this interview, which I read, it doesn't sound like he started working out for it now. Maybe he's just in the preparation stages. So if he does have any other projects he wants to go and finish, you know, that will be completely separate to this. So what's he got, six months? There's just... It is impossible <laughs> to go from this to this in six months, unless you have the greatest genetics ever. But even then, I don't think Ronnie Coleman could have done that. Like It, just, it blows my brain about how this is going to come across. And maybe he's not going to get as big as Hogan was, say, in the late 80s and early 90s. Maybe it's going to be one of those situations when the internet melts down. And they're like, he's not big enough, and therefore I don't like it. But who are you going to get? Who, who looks like Hulk Hogan? Other than Hulk Hogan in terms of physique. He's just like a mountain, a, a blob of, of, a, of, of, a, of a muscle man. So I'm massively fascinated about this. I'm massively intrigued about it. I love body transformations. You know, no matter how you're doing it, it always takes dedication and hard work and sacrifice and intensity. All these, no matter what else is happening, those things are going to go on. And he's proven when it comes to Thor that he can absolutely, you know, put the, the time and the effort in. But this is a whole new a whole new level. Again, just, just Google Hulk Hogan, man, from the late 80s, and it will... It just, it, there's a lot to him. <laughs> there's, there's a lot to him. And of course, he slims down at one point, so maybe they're going more for, for that kind of a, a physique. But even then, to get there in a short period of time is going to be very, very difficult. I'm massively, massively fascinated. I don't think, I mean, the only other person you can compare this to is Mickey Rourke in The Wrestler. And he, being Mickey Rourke, breaks all of the rules because in an interview with, um, uh, was it the Men's Journal he did when he was doing the rounds for the promotion, they just said to him, and fair play to that, whoever did it, they just went, take steroids, pal, didn't say pal. And he said, when I'm a wrestler, I behave like a wrestler. So that means, but I won't say it, it's hinting very strongly that he did. So that's the comparable one. Mickey Rourke, again, not the size of Hulk Hogan in The Wrestler. Great movie, great performance. He absolutely smashed it. And if you're into wrestling, you will know. But this is still another level still. This is a whole, a whole new thing. Like, you know, in the world of giants, which is what wrestling was back then, Hulk Hogan was one of the biggest of them all. And I know he's not super lean. I get it. But that's not the point. To put on that much, ma it's going to be fascinating is my point. Hence why I'm sat here just ranting and raving because I'm completely intrigued about what kind of transformation Chris Hemsworth is going to go through. He needs to get to a size that is dreamlike for some people. And he needs to do it in a short period of time. So we will see. We will see. But well, there we go. The information is out there. Chris Hemsworth playing Hulk Hogan in the biopic. I think Hulk Hogan is involved. So you're not going to get the true story of the Hulkster. And if you want to know, you can just go out there and check it out. We're not going to get into that here. But I don't know, man. How big is he going to get? He's going to be lifting some damn heavyweights, though. I will tell you that. And he's going to be eating a lot of damn food. I'm perplexed by this. 
but I also cannot wait. So we'll see Chris Hemsworth, Hulk Hogan, a bunch of other nonsense on Netflix too. Everyone's got Netflix, so we'll all be able to watch it. Make sure you like the video, share the video, smash the subscribe button, smash the bell button. I've got a Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Simon316. And if you want to come say hello on social media, it's all in the description below. It's just at Simon316 on whatever platform you can think of. Thanks for supporting me. Watch some more videos that should be flying around my head, bald head. See you soon.